Howdy, folks. This is Carlin Freiberger. I am a leadership specialist for the San Antonio Independent School District for the Gifted and Talented Department. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a convergent thinking tool that you can use after something happens, after a situation happens, after you take an action. And that tool is called reflection. It's a critical thinking tool, and it, you're supposed to think about what happened, your situation, your surroundings, the other people involved. And you do this in order to understand your own strengths and weaknesses to a greater extent. It also can help you improve yourself if you think things through and figure out ways that you could have done things differently or improved upon them. Uh, what the deal is, is you wanna question what, why, and how you do things just to make things better and to prove on it, improve on yourself and your own actions in the future. The deal is with reflection that you want to be open to new ideas. So come into it realizing that you're going to critique yourself. You don't want to critique yourself so much that you're always at fault or you're blaming yourself for all of the actions that happen, but you do want to make sure that you're taking ownership or, or owning the things that you could have changed. You want to look for alternatives to what you have done. You want to consider other perspectives or other ideas. And you, this is a conscious action that you do to improve yourself. So I uh, tell my students this. When you reflect, you look back. How did you do it? What did you do? How did you do it? Look down. How does it connect to what you have been doing? How does it connect to who you are as a person? What do you think? What do you think you could have done differently? What were some alternatives? What could you consider the next time? And then look forward. What could you improve upon? So when you're reflecting, and you should reflect after a significant event, situation, when you're taking action on something, when you're solving a problem, you should always take time at the end to reflect. It could be just talking to someone about it. It could be some self-talk. It could be through writing. It could be through videoing yourself. It could take all kinds of different forms. Whatever form that takes for you, always remember, look back, look down, and look forward. I hope this tool helps you out to become better leaders, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.